Straight ahead, the theater program is in rehearsal for its next production, plus it's almost spring break. We talked with several students to find out what they have for them. NWTV 7 News starts right now. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Tara Owen. We start off with sports today. Northwestern's baseball completed its three-game sweep over Southern Nazarene Sunday afternoon. The Rangers came back on the Crimson Storm for the second straight game after a five-run eighth inning. Northwestern closed out 12-9 victory. Northwestern won its first two games on Saturday. The Rangers play again this afternoon at home against Oklahoma Panhandle State at 2. Northwestern softball finished the weekend series with Southern Nazarene on Sunday afternoon. The Crimson Storm completed the three-game sweep over the Rangers. Northwestern plays this afternoon against Southwestern at 2. Northwestern's men basketball played in the Great American Conference semifinals matchup on Saturday against Arkansas Tech. It was a defense battle between the two teams for a third time this season. The Rangers lost the game 54-3. Northwestern finished the season with a 17-3 record. Be sure and be on the lookout for a special production our Ken Irving has been working on. It's an in-depth look at the life and basketball career of Ranger basketball player Brian Free. This special will be available later this week. The Lady Rangers basketball team traveled to Shawnee for their Great American Conference quarterfinals game last Friday against Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Lady Rangers came up short, losing 65-61. to The Lady Rangers finished their season with a record of 24-7, to the most wins the team has had since joining the GAC. Beyond sports, another big event that is being talked about on campus this week is spring break. We went around campus to see what students have planned. Um, for spring break, I plan on staying in Alva and working, and then I also have plans to get a tattoo and maybe do some hiking or just spend some time outside. My wife and I are actually going to OKC to do house shopping, so that's going to be fun. And then at the end of the week, uh, may or may not go to Colorado. My wife's going. I may go with her. May not. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to Houston, like Baywatch. I'm going like to the beach, you know, good time. You know. Planning on working out and also keep working, and I just need a break from school. <laughs> I just want to go home. You know, I'm not from here. I'm from Texas. So I'm going to go home, spend time with my family. All Northwestern campuses will be closed March 18th through the 22nd for spring break. Northwestern will host Gene Guac for the annual Visiting Writer Series on Wednesday, March 13th in the Student Center Ranger Room. This series is open to students, faculty, staff, and the general public. Dr. Matthew Lambert, Assistant Professor of English, says the series is a way of bringing Oklahoma writers to our region every year. Guac teaches at OSU and will be reading sections of his novel titled Go Home, Ricky. Northwestern's theater program will present the Tony Award-winning production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella in April. This production was their only musical originally composed for television. Northwestern students and fine art department are currently in rehearsals. That's a look at this week's headlines. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. We'll see you next time.